Now that you've created the main house for your nesting box as well as the roof, it's time to go ahead and add an entrance. So go ahead and log into Tinkercad and go ahead and find your nesting box design. Once you select that, you're going to need to click on Tinker This to open your file. Now for our nesting box, what we need to create is a cylindrical hole on the front so that our birds can enter or leave. So make sure you identify the front of your nesting box. And we could identify the front by finding that peak and making sure that we have the flat side of the roof facing towards us. Now here we're going to need to add a cylindrical hole that extrudes through the entire main house. So we're going to go ahead and grab our cylinder. And the cylinder that we're going to want to use for this is going to be the striped cylinder. That's going to allow us to group our object and be able to create a hole. Now that we have that cylinder, we're going to go ahead and click in that bottom right corner. And we're going to go ahead and give this a dimension of 0.4 inches by 0.4 inches. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and look at the front of this. And we're going to change our height for this to be four inches tall. So we want to make sure that we go ahead and click on that shape. Go ahead and give that a height of four inches and then go ahead and rotate around so that we can see the entire shape. Go ahead and slide it out if you need to so it's away from your nesting box. Now you're gonna notice that this is much taller than our structure and it's also going in the wrong direction. So we're gonna need to get to that right side view so that we can rotate this object. We're gonna use these arrow keys up at the top and we're simply gonna go ahead and click on one of them and we're just gonna go ahead and drag this until it gets to 90 degrees. Once it gets to 90 degrees, we can go ahead and click off and let's rotate around so we can see what our shape looks like. Now we should be able to take this cylinder and we're basically going to put this somewhere into that nesting box. Now the way that this is going to work is we're going to need to get to that front view here and we're going to need to make sure that our nesting box has the correct height entrance for our birds to get into. So we're going to want to make sure that when we go ahead and put this in, we're going to place this at two inches above the bottom of our nesting box. So in order to do this, I'm just simply going to grab that black arrow. And what we want to make sure of is that when we go up, we move that up until we see the two inch mark. Once we have that two inch mark, we can go ahead and let go. And now we know that that entrance is going to be two inches above the bottom of the flooring. Now, in order to get this centered into our nesting box, we can simply go ahead and drag a box around the entire shape. I'm going to go back to my front view for this one. And then from there, I'm going to need to go ahead and use my align tool. Now, once I have that align tool, I'm going to look on the bottom of the work plane and I'm going to find that center dot. Find that center dot and click, and that will go ahead and center that into the middle of the main house structure. Now let's rotate around and what we want to make sure is that that cylinder is going through the entire main body. If it's not, you're going to need to click on that and just use your arrow keys to go ahead and move it left to right. So just simply click and use those arrow keys so that it is protruding through the entire main house. Once you are good, we're going to go ahead and draw that box again. That's going to allow us to come back up and group, select your group. And what we should see from the front view is a hole going through the entire shape. You're going to want to make sure that you go and rotate around. Check the back of your structure out as well. There should also be a hole there. And now you've created the entrance to your nesting box.